Hi, everybody, and welcome to Traveling with Russell, and welcome to a new live stream, and welcome to my Moscow kitchen here in Moscow region in Russia. Um, I say that because I'm not actually in Moscow. I'm about 50 kilometers southwest of Moscow, uh, essentially on the outskirts of Moscow. They call it Moscow Oblast or Moscow region. So yeah, welcome everybody to a new live stream. I think the last time we did one was 13 days ago. So it was pretty much two weeks ago from, well, since today's live stream, let's call it. So yeah, I knew that because I just looked at my donation alerts uh, notice board and it tells me when the last donations were put there and they were all 13 days ago. Um, yeah, I think we did two live streams, didn't we, on this back to back two weeks ago. And then, of course, uh, last week was some different events. Well, one particular event that happened in Moscow on Friday last week. So, yeah, didn't do anything on the weekend at all last week. So it was pretty much a bit of a blur. So, yeah, thanks for joining. Uh, I see there's lots of people here early ahead of time of the live stream. Pretty much this is about the same time I do them all the time. So if you are watching for the first time, generally on the weekends, Saturday or Sunday, and generally in the evening Moscow time. So unfortunately, some people won't catch the best time uh, depending on where you are in the world. The audience for this channel is very diverse. It's only around about 20% Russian viewers, and then the rest is made up America, Canada, England, Australia, um, Germany, and so forth. So there's not a large percentage of Russian viewers that watch the channel generally. So it's just basically better for me to do it on a Sunday evening or Saturday evening. So yeah, I did do a poll uh, about have you watched a live stream before? So I always tend to do them from my kitchen. You can actually see it behind me. In the previous place we lived in, I was literally in the kitchen. Now I'm in more like the dining room, which is next to the kitchen. <laughs> so uh, there's a possibility in the coming weeks that we may be in another place that we've been trying to look to buy. Um, and I've talked about this in previous live streams. And my crazy idea uh, is slowly coming together. Slowly, let's call it slowly coming together. So, yeah, I'll just say a quick hello to a few people here. Uh, the first person who commented uh, was Emer uh, Em Kirk sixty six. Hey Russell, how are you doing? Happy Easter! Yeah, Easter in around the world. Uh, the here in Russia they do have different church services uh, depending on the denom denomination you are. Uh, just no Easter eggs, and that's uh, kind of a bigger part of it in Australia than, okay, being with family, maybe watching some uh, sport, basically the Friday being a public holiday. Uh, I don't know in Australia if Monday tomorrow is as well, but Friday, usually Good Friday is a public holiday. Uh, Bebel Cruising, hello, uh, channel member and longtime watcher of the channel. Uh, what are the rules? I guess be polite. Taylor is the main thing. Be polite, be understanding of other people. Um, yeah. Uh, cost, uh, Costa Fortuna. How many times, David, do I say Costa Fortuna when I read your name? Uh, David is here, who's one of the moderators. And then possibly uh, Vitali may be here as well. So if anybody's doing anything untoward, they may uh, make you go to sleep for a little while. But generally, it's not a problem in our live stream. Uh, I had a question that shouldn't go far. Okay, Taylor, no worries. Fireflux, hello. Uh, again, David, hello. Uh, Bebel Cruising. Plastic Russian, hello to you. Down south, well, more south than Moscow where I am. So, yeah, welcome to a live stream. Uh, I think maybe it's the first one you might have seen. Um, SL, SLC Utah, Dave, hello. Uh, George, hello. Uh, hello from Oregon. Wow, people everywhere. Hello. Are you real in Russia? Yes, I am really in Russia. I'm not too sure how I can prove it to you, but I am. Well, I, what can I show you? I can show you. I guess you could buy this somewhere else, couldn't you? Chernogolovka Mandarin. That's Russian, I think. Is that Russian enough? Um, 
I have a business card from a sofa lady. <laughs> that's the we went to go look at a sofa, and that's her business card. In case we want to try to find her place twice, we went to a huge uh, furniture market that had lots and lots of <laughs> sofa shops. So what's cooking good looking? Not a lot. Not a lot. I'm in the process of trying to buy an apartment. My uh, crazy idea, if everybody knows about it by now, I think it's well worn out, is to fan fund me buying an apartment here in Moscow. I have residency to live here, so I'm perfectly able to do it. Oh, Vitaly's here. Hi, Russell from England. Happy Easter. Yes, I actually watched the football today as well. It was Super Sunday. I watched the first game, which is Liverpool, where they won 2-1, I think. It was 2-1 in the end. Um, and then, was it 3-1? 2-1. And then it was 0-0 with Man, U, Man City and uh, Arsenal. So yeah, it wasn't as exciting a game. So, and I might watch the golf later on. Let's see. Uh, Russia is known for fancy decorated eggs, though. Yes, Martha, correct. Gosh, yes. Uh, my wife did that when we were in Australia a couple of years ago. We actually managed to get hold of some of the uh, dyes that you dye the eggs and do that from. Uh, George, I can't read Russian. So if you're typing something in Russian, I can't read it. Yeah, so basically, there's not too many rules. Uh, he lives in uh, Mit. He lives in Mit Mitino. Mitino. Okay, I know Mitino is a place in Moscow region. I live on the southwest of Moscow, close by Vanukova Airport. Hello from Tula. Oh, it's the recipe in Tula. Hello. Uh, plus one or three Celsius. Yeah, today. I don't know. It was warm today. I didn't go outside for too long today. Um. I was going to check on my phone. It's cheating. My, my, my computer's not telling me the temperature. Plus 10. It is right now. Plus 10 degrees. Check that out right there. Plus 10. And it feels like plus 7. This time yesterday it was plus 12. My gosh. What's tomorrow's weather? That's probably more important. Monday plus 19. And Tuesday plus 21. Wow, there's not going to be a... There's not going to be a snowflake of snow anywhere in Moscow by tomorrow and the next day. Uh, the f oh, you're a first-timer. Oh, Mr. Jamo, by the way. Hello to you, Mr. Jamo. Uh, Claire, hello from France. Merci beaucoup. Uh, best cola is good cola. Uh, Dobra cola. Yes. Well, I, I'm slowly not liking it as much as I had. I actually had the Chernogolovka cola recently, and I don't mind that as well. Um, good afternoon from San Diego. Hello. It's 109 people watching. We got 43 likes. Thank you so much. Uh, and then if anyone does want to support the channel, um, pretty much uh, anything that gets given to the channel in terms of donation alerts, super chats, super thanks, super stickers. What else is there? Boosty. Someone did Boosty. Um, it goes back into the channel to create more videos. Uh, pays for my lunch to go out, pays for my bus tickets or metro tickets. Um, and then at the moment, it's my crazy idea time, which Adequate Xiaomi Guy just donated on donation alerts. Hi, Russell. Tumin is watching. I read last live stream in the stream's name and got upset, but I hope you'll just continue to stream in another place. And there's my crazy idea investment. Thank you for the crazy idea investment. Um, yeah, if you do donation alerts, by the way, you can put anonymous, you can put whatever you like, you can type something or not. Um, I'm happy to read it out, of course. Um, but possibly <laughs> the next live stream is, so if anyone remembers about two years ago, if you're an OG watcher of the live streams, we were doing this microwave, um, <laughs> get my wife a microwave <laughs> live stream. Uh, and it turns out that the uh, place that we want to buy doesn't have an oven. Uh, it has a hot plate, but not an oven. And there's a possibility <laughs> that we might have to <laughs> come up with some uh, inventive way or creative way of getting an oven <laughs> for the uh, for this apartment that we want to buy. Uh, we found one that we particularly like. Um, your English is very good. Thank you. Yes, I'm glad that you noticed that. 
You don't have to answer. I'm American and the U.S. Department of that's Russia in the no travel list. Taylor, yes. Also, keep in mind you also can't travel to Indonesia, Thailand. Um, you can't travel to most of Asia. You can't travel to Mexico. Probably can't travel to most of South America. So Americans can't really travel to many places. Um, so unfortunately, if you do want to go somewhere, just take a look at the rest of the list, not just Russia as the countries that are to not travel to. Um, are you a nice chap? Oh, you are a nice chap. Thank you, Sergey. Good ask. Спасибо большое. There isn't a barcode on his neck. Russell is real. Yes, I don't have one of those somewhere here. Uh, thank Anonymous. Thank you for the video from Crocus. Yes. That was a very tough video to make. Um, I It took me a couple of days to go there. I could have gone you know, fairly well straight away. Could have gone on, you know, uh, the next day, the same day, the next day, the day after. But it took a few days to get there. Um, it was a tough video, yes. Um, it's difficult because if you've watched all my other videos, I'm very happy, positive, chirpy. Um, and it wasn't the mood, even when I... Actually, the, f the first thing <laughs> that I that caught my attention was obviously people go there by metro, metro, the underground train, and the uh, stop, um, I think it's called Mikino, Mikino, Mikino metro station which is the one which is Crocus City. Um, and there was people sitting by me with flowers in their hands. And then obviously I realized they're going to the same place I'm going to. Um, and then already before I even got there to the site of where this sort of temporary memorial was, um, yeah, it was, it was tough. I had to walk away a few times. I couldn't essentially hold the camera. I couldn't look at the camera. I couldn't talk back to the camera um, a few times, so I kind of got through it. Um, I'm not really a person that when I make videos, I do take twos or I do like, you know, let me do it again, let me do it again, let me do it again. I don't do that. I film it and that's pretty much it. Um, but I had to do it a couple of times because I just didn't think what I was saying was right, and I just changed the, the, the text a little, or the text, the context, let's call it. So, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's not, I mean, I guess uh, the fact that I've been there so many times to conventions, which is immediately where that temporary memorial is. Um, you know, I walked in and out of the buildings there, walked up and down that car park, which I think everyone around the entire world's seen you know, where people have been putting flowers there. So, yeah. Um, thank you. Anonymous, I'm not sure who you are, but I appreciate. And I had so many nice comments on that video. It's really unbelievable, the amount of comments from people around the whole world, not just uh, locally here. Um, Irene, Irene, hello from Germany. Hello to you in Germany. Happy Easter. How long have you been there? I've uh, been in Russia pretty much, well, the first time I came was just about 10 years ago originally. Uh, I was working on cruise ships at the time, so I had to go back to from work a few times in America, back to Russia, back to Australia, back to Russia, uh, and I'm here. Uh, yeah, olig oligarchy, Fabergé eggs, not quite the same Panthera, but yeah, Fabergé eggs. This may need to be a few posts, I'm not sure. If you see USA, maybe that's not nice. <laughs> Being nice here. Uh, oh, you've had great weather down there. Yes. And I saw your little video today. Hi, Kaluga is here. Oh, hello, Red Fox. Maybe you saw my two videos I made in Kaluga, one at the Pitorchka and then one that I went to a food expo. Uh, it was probably about two months ago now. So I'd like to say hello. Where are you in Russia? I'm in Moscow region. I'm about 50 kilometers southwest of Moscow uh, in a town called Aprilivka. I think I've said that um, many times. I think most people know where I live. Um, yeah, so I'm just on the outskirts. It's called Moscow region. It's basically, if you see Moscow on a map, there's rings that make up the roads. And then I'm outside of that a little bit further. Suzanne, hello. Uh, thank you, whoever's got 72 likes or put a thumbs up on the video. Thank you so much. 
I really appreciate that. Um, are you in Yakutia or Salah? I'm not sure, Kaleo, what that means. I'm not in Yakutia. Everyone, please put some likes for Russell. Thank you, Fireflux. Yes, I guess I shouldn't really ask people, should I? Like people. Hello from Western Canada. I've been to Vancouver, Vancouver Island. Been to Victoria. Uh, Dobra Cola is better than Chernogolovka Cola. Yeah, I think, I guess that maybe it's like, you know, maybe I'm just having like mood swings of the cola <laughs> that I have. Uh, I had some Polish Coca-Cola. Um, I bought one in Miratok in my local, well, one of my local supermarkets um, during the week. I went to go get some, <laughs> went to go get some pork and chicken and I got a can of Polish Coca-Cola. Uh, Claire, if I get a bigger toaster oven, it works great and can cook almost anything in there. Well, we really need an oven. Uh, this place that we're in now has got one of those wall ovens, but in the place where we want to buy, we would put it in the cupboards kind of underneath here, if that makes sense. In, and take out one of the cupboards or one of the doors and then place it in there. Um, uh, cheers from Australia. Toxic, hello. Tez Messi. Toxic Q. Hello in Australia. I'm from Perth, Australia originally. Um, it took a lot of courage. Yes, I agree. It took a lot of... It, you know, my wife initially said don't go there for a couple of days in a row. Um, and then I kind of say that it's okay. I think I can go, right? So uh, I want I wanted to ask if you feel a genuine... Possible. Um, I, Taylor, I'm not sure how to answer your question. Um, look, uh, I could have been in, I was in Nassau, Bahamas during 9-11. I'm sure everybody in the world knows where they were during 9-11. Um, you know, I was, I was on a cruise ship during Hurricane Katrina. Uh, I was on a cruise ship during Hurricane Sandy. <laughs> so I was on the first cruise ship to come back to New Orleans after the hurricane. Because those cruise ships weren't allowed back for quite a while. So, Northern Arizona. Hello, Susan. Um, yeah. Devil's family traveled to Asia and back. No worries. Moreno with the Yandex robots. Make a video with about them. Uh, Yandex robots. I've got a short on my channel where I came across one. I seem to just come across them by, by accident not specifically seeing them. So I haven't seen one in Moscow for a while, though, when I've been around everywhere. Uh, and it hit it, the copyright infringement. I put a video up earlier of the Crocus broadcast. Maybe you were streaming the live stream, and perhaps because it was someone else's content. Uh, was that where you did the food video from, Russell? Um, the food video, I guess it was in Kaluga, right? I think that's what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, the food tasting one way. It was in Kaluga. Most of the videos now I do put a, um, a Yandex pin to where I am or where I've been to and a time of recording and then even a website if there is one for things. Greetings from Canada. Hello. Content channel. Uh, are you Rush Australian citizen? I am an Australian citizen. I have an Australian passport and then I have Russian residency. So I have an Australian passport with a Russian residency visa. Uh, at some point, I could get citizenship in Russia. I could get a Russian passport. I'm married here to a Russian who is a Russian citizen. So, yes, it's all possible. Uh, oh, thank you. If I was okay. Yeah, I mean, I was there on Wednesday. I did mention this in the video. If you haven't watched it, maybe go back and watch it. Uh, I was there on Wednesday evening. Now, normally I'd go to an event. I went to a food expo. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the food expo I went to on Wednesday. I didn't, I've not put that video on the channel um, because I didn't finish it. <laughs> I met some subscribers uh, there and then they invited me to meet some friends of theirs and then we ended up going out for dinner together at Crocker City, funny enough. I've never normally stayed later than five, six o'clock there at an event and then come home and I went to dinner there on Wednesday, last Wednesday night um at a restaurant basically at the uh well next to crocus expo and crocus city it's the same place and then i got a taxi home about midnight because i would have missed my metro home and bus home so 
Um, just haven't renewed membership. This no worries, Susan. If you want to do membership or not, it's just a way to thank me as a creator or content creator. Um, I've not put basically levels in place because I don't do too much additional to what I'm doing on YouTube as it is. So it's just a way of supporting me or support the channel basically. So thank you if you know, it's what you're doing. Uh, Dawn, hello. Uh, Chester in Munich, hello. For a few months in one video, I saw that your wife speaks Russian English too. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to learn Russian or are you already in the process? I'm slowly learning it, Christy. Yes, my wife speaks English perfectly well. Um, she was doing English lessons a couple of times a week for quite a long time. Um, basically, after she met me until coming to Australia a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, we, we conversate in English. How are you and your wife doing from Greenwood? Indiana, we're doing well. Yes, we're in the process of looking to buy an apartment. Uh, we're in the process of uh, possibly in the next few weeks making all this happen. We're not too sure yet. It's basically a lot of paperwork and a lot of getting documents and getting documents signed or apostled or uh, notarized or going back and forward. Um, yeah, so we're in the process of it and... Essentially, every penny and every cent that I'm earning through YouTube is going into that apartment at the moment to make it easier to buy the apartment. And this is my whole crazy idea thing that I've talked about a few times. <laughs> so I think we worked it out. Actually, Xiaomi Guy is pretty much correct. Uh, if everybody that's a YouTube channel subscriber donated 44 rubles, I can buy an apartment tomorrow. And I can not do kitchen live streams and set up some kind of a another room in the apartment that we want to buy. We've sort of found one that we specifically like. Um, so yeah, we're working on it. Love your videos from, uh, from my beloved Moscow, Larissa. Thank you so much. Spasiba. Greetings from Boston. I've seen a Red Sox game in Boston. It was pretty cool. Oh, Alexei in Kamovniki. Kamovniki. Sorry if it's, I'm not sure where that is. I'm Dr. Vikas Maringa. I'm coming to Moscow in April. Will it be possible to meet? Thank you. I actually wanted to discuss uh, if we see each other somewhere. Uh, I don't specifically meet people, you know, from the channel. I tend to bump into people more than anything. And then we end up going out for dinner. We go for coffee. We do something and hang out. Um, we are trying to do a channel meet up in Moscow at some point in the next two months. I think next month. Um, um, Joanna, who's a person, uh, a person, who's someone I've met in Moscow. Um, I actually met her at the Eurospa supermarket after she happened to watch my video, happened to be in Moscow, and we happened to be in the same place on the same day. And she's coming back to Moscow soon. And She's working on, um, well, I've, I've suggested that she organize something so that she can plan something somewhere that I'll come to and everyone else can come to because I don't really want to make it in a certain place and then it not be immediately accessible for everybody. So do you feel that you, uh, not at all, Taylor, not at all. Uh, I feel completely comfortable living here. I have since I first arrived. I you know, went to a lot of places around the world working on cruise ships. Um, yes, not a worry. Um, honestly and truly, I could walk outside now. Okay, it's a bit of a smaller town here. If I was in Moscow center, there'd be people everywhere. You could walk around. You'd, it's not uncomfortable to walk around with people, with families, babies, children. Um, Raven is... Zabilkovo. Zabilkovo. Uh, George, hello. Vikas, thank you. Thanks for putting it lots and lots of same with copy and pasting. Thank you. Keep them coming. Thank you, Brian. Uh, what was the main draw to bring you to Russia? Um, James, I fell in love with a Russian lady. Uh, and I think anyone that <laughs> married to a Russian lady will understand. Or if you've ever been here and seen a lot of Russian ladies, uh, you'll understand. 
Um, yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, working, working airport in Las Vegas. You're at work at the at Vegas airport. Cool. I've flown to Las Vegas a couple of times. I saw Celine Dion in concert. I saw uh, Cirque du Soleil. Um, I saw a few different things. I can't remember even the thing. It was so many years ago now. I went twice there. Food tasting video. Oh, maybe that's the one that I did in Kaluga. Yes, I did that. Well, I went to a food expo and then it was actually not that big. So I was able to walk around and then charge some of the different stands. Uh, I think it was the music. Oh, that will be another problem. Yes, if you're playing copyrighted music. Um, like the buy me a coffee link has disappeared, Queen, because they've said that my account is no longer working. Because for some reason they think I'm in Russia or I have a Russian account and I live in Russia. But essentially it's all set up through Australia and the payment gateway is to Australia. So that's why I've deleted it from the last few videos in a row. I've not gone back and took it out of every video. It's 400 videos to delete that line from. But I am slowly taking it away from other videos. So everything else works. Queen, if you want to do donation alerts, uh, super chats on the video. Um, I guess it's going to have to be the buy me, buy me an oven <laughs> instead of buy me a coffee now. I uh, love what you're doing. Thank you, Brian from Belfast. Nice. Uh, thanks for all your videos. They have caused any argu uh, arguments with friends of mine. I say Rusty's good. Then they try saying people have no. F right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of, you know, I guess people's got, a, people got a mindset that you know, Russia's in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and different times and periods. I mean, I've only been here 10 years, so I can't, you know, talk about anything before that. Um, I mean, you can have conversations with people, they can explain to you how things were, but I don't think unless you live through it, you, you know, completely understand it. New Mexico, David, hello. Artist community of Carrizozo, Zozo, Carrizozo. Peace and love from Grand Haven, Michigan. Hello. I've been to Detroit once. I went to Great Lakes Crossing Shopping Mall. I think I've mentioned that on the videos, maybe. It's great. Is it difficult? Uh, it's not difficult to rent, no. Um, it depends on if it's either privately listed or if it's with a real estate agent. Um, there's not a lot of difference. The only difference with a real estate agent, if they're listing it, you might have to pay a, like a fee to the real estate agent to rent it out. Um, and then you'd normally give a deposit, which is returned at the end. You, you're doing like a month's deposit that you get back when you leave the apartment. But generally, if it's listed with a real estate agent, they may have some sort of a commission for the handling of the paperwork. It's really just a an agreement that you're signing. That's pretty much it. There's no, virtually no other things to do. Um, and then it's just a matter of going there. If you If it's privately, like when we, my wife's apartment over on the other side of Moscow, and we rented it out, I was remodeling the kitchen at the time, if you might remember the old videos. Um, the guy came and looked at it. We listed it on a veto, which is similar to a kind of Facebook marketplace in Russia. And a few people contacted us to come, and we were there for a few days in a row, like all day I was there. So people just showed up to look. We told them it was a studio. It was only 20 square meters. It wasn't really suitable for more than maybe a couple could live there, but... Uh, the guy that came, he ended up coming, giving my wife the cash literally for the rent right there on the spot and the deposit. And about half an hour later, he came back with some bags and he and it was, like, it was still sawdust on the floor from the guy putting the kitchen in. And he was more than happy and he's lived there ever since. Um, and it, we had, my wife did print out some, uh, like a an agreement, like a rental agreement, which is kind of, we both signed it and we both got copies of passports and stuff like that. And this is what my wife did that. Um, so there is an agreement in place, but it's just basically a fairly standard rental agreement. Uh, what does it like, David? So essentially in the next week or two, we're looking to move out of here and into an apartment that we want to buy. So I've done live streams from my <laughs> Moscow kitchen, uh, in this place and in our other place, if you remember, maybe with the green kitchen and yellow walls, um, and that's where always it was like kitchen live streams. And then now it's kind of like dining room, kitchen live streams. So hopefully, 
hopefully, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. I'm not sure when and how and what and why, because my wife gets tired of me asking her. <laughs> so I've stopped asking her about the time frame of things because most of it's paperwork that we're kind of dealing with. Um, so yeah, uh, the next, well, I don't know the next one. Maybe the next one will still be here and I'm just not too sure, but um, it won't be a kitchen live stream if it's a live stream. But it could be the next one or two could be. I'll catch up later, Vaughn. No worries. Good to see you here. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you, David. Yes, yeah, so that's the whole idea of that. If you're people who have watched previous live streams, it does, because I've talked about the uh, dream of buying an apartment um, a few times about uh, getting a Russian residency permit. Yes, it's, uh, it's not a simple process. Uh, again, it's just documents and paperwork, Andrew. Like uh, That's really all it is, is creating the documents they require, going to certain places to get them. And then things like getting your passport translated and getting that notarized. Uh, do you miss the land down under greetings from Sweden? Any plans for summer vacation? We've just got through winter. So we just thawed out now, strange things. Um, we possibly might go to Ufa to see my wife's family. We're not too sure yet. We're, okay, buying an apartment <laughs> means we're going to be broke to the last penny or the last ruble. Actually, someone asked, how do you prove that you're in Russia? Um, excuse my nail, fingernail, but I've got a 10 ruble coin right here. Oh, how many times do I want to put it upside down? Um, so, yeah, how many people have a 10 ruble coin if they're not in Russia? Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, the idea is we're going to be broke and we're going to be eating dosarak. We're going to be counting our rubles and we're going to become, well, <laughs> We're not going to be exactly homeowners um, unless my crazy idea comes to fruition. But uh, uh, will the apartment be bigger? Actually, it'll be a little bit smaller than this place. This place is quite a bit bigger than what we really need as a couple. Uh, it'll be a little bit smaller. Not by much, though. Um, you just mentioned you're moving. Best well, we're not moving yet, David. We're working on it. Um, yeah, we want somewhere that's close to where we live, close to where my wife lives, uh, and then easy transportation because I don't have a car. So, hello from Eugene, Oregon. We're always the American uh, athletics is all based out of, right? I think that's where they do all of their training and all of their uh, championships. Where, for example, Luzniki Stadium. Oh, okay. Luzniki, I know where you are. Nova Denich De Vici convent and stadium are located. Yes. I even went to watch the rugby there. I think it was last summer. Uh, they had the rugby, uh, Russian rugby league. Russian rugby league. They had two teams were playing there. There's rugby stadium, the rugby fields there, tennis stadium there. There's all sorts of stuff, right? So uh, thank you, Vaughn. Uh, fall in love and came to Russia, came to Russia and fell in love. Yeah, it's either one or the other, right? Uh, it's the only one you can use. My gosh. Not PayPal. PayPal works. Um, donation alerts, I don't know how that works. I know you can connect payment types to that. Um, from Oh, Netherlands. I love your video so much. Give you Gives us a very good insight into today's Russia is all about. Thank you. And I'm trying to mix up the content a little bit um, and give different things in each video. So trying to do that. Uh, oh, Faceless Chef. Hello. Faceless Chef UK. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. We know each other through YouTube. If you want to learn about some cooking techniques, love your videos. Thank you, Tom. Thank you so much. Tom Brazy. Welcome from Seattle, Washington. Oh, cool. I've been to Seattle. I um, did some cruises out of Seattle. I've actually flown in there as well to join a cruise ship. Kofi instead of buy me a coffee since they deleted it. Yeah, it's basically, I guess they suspended the account. I think that's the best word to say. 
The various places in Moscow, please make videos about architecture. Yeah, I'm, I'll try to. Yeah, I'm going to go to some parks now that it's just started to warm up this last week where it's sort of nice to walk around and comfortable. So now there is a lot of walking channels on YouTube where people just go walking through the streets in Moscow. Uh, IPL, I don't watch really too much cricket. Um, so I don't have a particular IPL team. I'm sorry. Uh, hello from Thailand. Oh, Jay, hello in Thailand. From Arizona, in Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks for the answer. It means a lot hearing it from boots on the ground. Well, thank you. Oh, Hillary. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, let me know if you get this. Yes. And I will send. Oh, okay. Let me know if you get this. Yes, I did. My first time on this one. Keep removing things I just get the hang of. Yes. Yeah, so they sent me an email a couple of weeks ago saying that the account will be stopped and to remove links to it in your channel and stuff. I'm slowly doing it, but... And then now they sent me another email saying it's now closed or suspended and anybody that uses it will get their donation, uh, get their refunds. I guess people have, aren't sending it, so that's why it's not coming. But yes, Hillary, thank you so much. Uh... Adequate Xiaomi guy, Anonymous and Hillary, thank you for donation alerts. It'll go to the oven fund. I'm going to call it the oven fund. <laughs> because uh, basically when we move into this place, I'm going to make a list of things that we need to do or want to do. Uh, we don't really need to do too many things immediately getting in the place. Uh, we will need to put curtains on the window because there's just uh, like um, net curtains like these ones. And because it's west facing, uh, the sun comes in the afternoon and it can be very, a little bit overwhelming. It's beautiful, of course, but it can get a little bit too much if you want to sleep. So we want to get some just dark curtains. Uh, very amazing. The freshness of the product is remarkable. Yes. Yeah, a lot of supermarkets in, in Russia generally. It doesn't have to be a traditional supermarket to have good food. I mean, any of the Rinnocks or smaller food markets have as good or better food. Um, so yeah, Hillary, it's definitely working. Thank you so much with a heart. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, donation alerts, uh, buy me a coffee worked good because I had it linked back to Australia to, for it to work for the payment gateway. Um, I'm not too sure for other people in Russia, if they use that as much donation alerts basically is an instant payment to the creator, uh, basically at, at about three or 4 AM tomorrow goes into my Russian bank as an instant um, payment. Whereas things like donation alerts, uh, sorry, buy me a coffee has to go through another payment gateway, then another payment gateway to get to Australia, and then I guess one to get back to Russia. So um, hello from Montreal. Hello. Enjoying your experience. Thank you, Jay. You'll be coming for 18 months in October doing this before I moved I'll be visiting for 18 months, October 25, doing this before I move to Russia. Okay. Uh, the Food Expo was fun. I also enjoy answering questions you ask your viewers regarding what they have in their country. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. Can you need? Can you not simply buy a cooker with an oven? Uh, well, there is already a hot plate there. So one of those... Um, okay. So... Over here, we've got a, those electric, it's induction, this one, induction hot plate. Um, so there's a hot plate there, so you can put pans on it and cook with the pans. Um, but the oven where you open the door and put something inside like roast chicken or pork or beef, or we make a cottage pie, shepherd's pie quite often, uh, it doesn't have one of those ovens. <laughs> so it does have a fridge, which is good. It's good when you have good tenants, yes. Definitely, Andrew. Yeah, the guy that we've got for my wife's place. Happy Easter. Thank you to you and your wife. Thank you, De uh, Bob and Debbie. Thank you so much. Yeah, Easter is basically a thing here, but it's really a matter of attending events. You don't sort of feel it as much if you go to a shopping center or supermarket and things like that. Um, Russians are welcome here in Thailand. Yeah, I think a lot of Russians are in Thailand, in Bali, Vietnam. Raskazovka. You're in Raskazovka. Do you follow some Moscow vloggers like Lisa and Window to Moscow? I know them. I don't necessarily follow like every video that comes up. Uh, generally, what's recommended on my homepage of YouTube, I watch. Um, 
Window to Moscow is like one of the walking type channels, right? I think. Uh, counting rubles and eating ramen. Yes. That's what homeowners do, right? When you first move in and you've had to pay this fee, pay that fee. You've got to pay this thing that you didn't know you had to pay. This thing is got to be paid. Um, yeah. And then when you want to go and do something to change things and things like that. So, uh, what do you miss about the most about Australia? Um, I guess my parents, my sister, her kids, family. That's pretty much it. Red Rooster. If you're Australian, you'll understand. Chicken and chips. No, you will never lose your Aussie accent. And my uncles are from Barbados. Oh, Barbados. Living in New Zealand. Imagine that accent. Yes. Barbados. Beautiful place. I was watching somebody's video in St. Lucia today. Uh, an English guy that was in St. Lucia on holiday. Uh, get a crypto wallet. Yeah, that's too many complications for what I need to do. I've already kind of figured out the Australia to Russia thing with money. So the crypto thing is just one too many steps. Uh, your videos get world views. Thanks. How come you haven't done a video in Vedenha Park? Uh, I did one last summer, walking in Vedenha. I definitely did one. I've done a couple of them in Vedenha. Now, one of the very first videos I did, if you probably search by oldest first, there's one where I go and eat donuts at the place in Vedenha, which most tourists don't know exist. Uh, maybe just locals know about it. Uh, are you taking the Russian culture and language to you, or do you just keep to vlogging and blogging? Um, I do attend things where there's something to go to. My wife and I don't go out too often. You know, We go to Moscow now and again. We're very happy where we live. Uh, what was your job on the cruise ships? Martha, I was working in the onboard shops, in the duty-free shops. I was doing the uh, alcohol and tobacco shop in the, on the shops on board. So if you maybe went in the duty-free shop or you went to buy a toothbrush or something, that was the shops. I was on Carnival Cruise Line predominantly. I also worked on Holland America. I worked on MSC. I worked on Norwegian Cruise Line. Sask still under snow in Saskatchewan. Uh, what's your favorite park in Moscow? Uh, I would say Gorky Park. But then Gorky Park, you can walk right the way around. Well, you can go one direction back towards Moscow, where is Muzon Park. And then I don't know the other name of the park, but it keeps walking all the way right the way to uh, Vorovivogore. And then you can cross the bridge, which is uh, the metro station there, which is the red line, which, I, which is the line that I catch. Uh, Scott Inras Kazovka. Thank you, Susan. Thank you so much. Yeah, my wife, uh, there's a lot of stress with buying an, a house in Russia or an apartment because of the documents and making sure everything's okay, making sure things are double okay. Uh, yes. Oh, you love the apartment tour that I did recently. Yeah, I want to do more of them. I want to do more apartment tour videos. Um, and I keep asking <laughs> real estate agents, can I do them? Can I do them? And most say no very quickly. And occasionally some say yes. So, mm, Goran, hello. It's good to see that you are happy for uh, for believing Catholics. Happy Easter. Thank you. In Ecuador, all the bananas in Russia are from Ecuador. I'm sure you know that already. Uh, at least about both. What do you like the most and least? Um, the least thing in Russia? I don't really, there's not many things I don't like here. No, I don't like people pushing in line to get on the bus. Uh, especially when I catch the Mashrutka home from uh, Salarevo metro station to a Prelivka. There's a, a local bus that I've got to catch. People love to just cut in line. And no matter how much I don't like it, they live in the same town I live in. <laughs> um, that's about it, really. Everything else, I'm good. Uh, what, do I, what don't I like in Australia? I don't know. There's not many things I don't like there either. I'm a very easygoing person. Nothing is too much worry and stress and problem and, you know, so that's the, the thing. I, I don't really have that list. Most people will grow their own fruit and veg, yes, and now coming up to dacha season as well. Uh, I live in Russia. Daniel, hello. Zdravstvati. Daniel Mervedev, maybe. You got happy, humble Easter, happy Easter. You will know when, when it's spring, when they're... 
cherry and apricot trees are in full bloom. Oh, cool. I like the trees have white and pink. Yeah, I went to a, a, um, a lilac park in summer last year. Can you call yourself a Moscovite? Well, I live in Moscow region, so I can't if I don't live in Moscow. Uh, that'd be a Moscovich. Yes, a Moscovite. Uh, so not quite, because I live in Moscow region. Maybe at, at Prelivkin. Cincinnati, 3 p.m. on Sunday. Oh, nice time. I'm going to maybe watch the car racing later. I think maybe there's NASCAR on. Or sp Sprint Cars. Sprint Cup, what's it called? Love your channel and watch all your videos. Thank you for your hard work and positive attitude. Val uh, Val Valerie, I was going to say Valerie. Valerie, thank you so much. I'm glad your wife, husband and yourself enjoy the videos. It's so nice. I think probably the most positive video was the um, Crocker City video with comments and positive comments. Obviously, a lot of other videos, I ask questions of people, you know, about comparing something, the price of something, or the, you know, the like about the apartment video just now that I made about the price of rent and utilities. So obviously, people have very differing answers to things and you know people want to keep commenting about the salaries that people earn versus what they spend and things like that hello in canada oh cordoba what am i reading <laughs> cordoba i thought it's a canada i always like read it as i'm clicking it and then i miss reading it cordoba spain you've been on four cruises on carnival yeah my last ship i was on was carnival horizon i brought that out from the shipyard in italy we did a brief, this is about five years ago now, right, I think. We did a brief season in Europe, and then we did the Atlantic, cross transatlantic to New York, and then down to Miami. I also brought out Carnival Pride from New, Carnival Legend from New, Carnival Victory. And then I also brought out Norwegian Pearl, Kaluna, Kaluna, Kaluna? Denise, hello. Kaluna BC. I've enjoyed your videos, and I have backtrack to see why you're leaving us are you leaving us no denise no i'm not i'm not going to be in this apartment sorry i'm holding a cable i don't know why um there's a possibility that very soon we'll be able to move into an apartment that we're trying to buy uh, we don't know when and how and what and who uh, <laughs> but um, so yeah, that's the thing. Uh, basically I do my live streams from the kitchen. This is more like the la living, this is more like the dining room kind of the, that table should be roughly where I'm sitting and I should be at that table on the, if that makes sense. I think I'm just talking uh, nonsense. I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I've been watching you for two years now. Do you speak Russian? Uh, chut chut. Oh, malinki poruski. It's very interesting to hear an outside opinion. I respect that. Keep up the work. Thank you, Euphorio. Chut-chut, Poruski. Uh, I always say, Niet in your life, Poruski. Chut-chut. So from Moscow, my friend Russell, in which Australian city? I was, I'm from Perth, Australia, Mr. Optimus. Perth, Australia. Have you watched a sporting event in Moscow? Yes, I've been not so far this year, but I went to ice hockey a few times. I've been to the football a few times. I went to, if you might watch a video from the last few months ago, I went to ice swimming as well. Um, happy Easter from Pennsylvania. Thank you, Franco. Uh, did you do that Dacha video? Seasons has, we've been to our, we've been to our friend's Dacha. Uh, I don't know if there's one on this channel. I think there isn't. On my old channel, there is where I went to Ozunova, which is kind of in the south of Moscow region, south of Moscow or Zunova. It's about three hours by train, kind of just slightly southeast of Moscow. Now, the actual station where you get off is like mile, is like kilometer 150, 51 or 46. The actual station doesn't have a, a name where the Dacha community is. The next station does. <laughs> um from finland in the last video from the magnet store the lens in your camera yes uh yes i did notice that only afterwards actually i really watched noticed it when i was editing it and what it is is um is is now i don't have the cloth now because i keep it in my bag so i'm using a new camera 
that has a magnetic lens. And I think when I went to grab it, when I was putting it on, I accidentally put my finger over the lens. And then what happens is the you take the lens back off the camera and put it in this little splot here. Um, and I did notice it, and I and I, I didn't know what it was at the time when I was watching it, because I was thinking it was just a little bit of like lens flare from the sun coming in the shop at the beginning when I first walked in, and then afterwards I realized that it was the fingerprint on there. So now in my bag, I keep a lens cleaning cloth um, to take care of that. Uh, I'm glad I'm I'm glad to be with you in Russia. Thank you, Mr. Opt. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to the advice and changing the camera. Oh, yeah, uh, right. So yeah, I'm now using um, this uh, DJI Pocket 3. Actually, I've, I only started using this when I went to Tashkent, Uzbekistan. I took it there for the first trip, and that vlogging video was with this camera, literally out of the box, switched it on. Um, and... And that's pretty much it. There's me on camera. I don't think I can. No, I can't do that. <laughs> so um, I bought this back in Australia. Um, well, my wife forced me to buy it because I spent three weeks in Australia and I virtually bought nothing for myself the entire three weeks. And my wife made me buy this. This is the actual microphone that goes clips on me when I'm wearing it as well. The oldest architecture in Moscow, I understand that the city has gone through. Uh, Mario, it's difficult because I don't really know a lot of the history of the places. It would be very easy if I knew more about the history of the place as I walked around. Uh, where where you your shades from? They look like from Ikea. They'd... I'm not sure what that means. They look like they're from Ikea. They discontinued. Yeah, well, there's no there's no Ikeas in Russia now, so you can buy things online through Ikea, though. Uh, D Daniel, we're working on moving, working on it. It's a slow process of doing a lot of the paperwork and documents for trying to buy somewhere. Um, I should do a video in Sochi. Yeah, if someone wants to invite me to Sochi, absolutely. Uh, you up in your wife's stay. Thank you. Uh, need to start cooking Easter dinner. Oh, very nice. Actually, today, my well, we cooked it last night. We made a cottage pie, which is normally good food for about three days because we make it in a big metal tray and put it in the oven. Good job showing Moscow and Russia for the whole world. This is a very important mission. I need to think about it, and maybe I will be useful in some way. I'm from Moscow. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, actually, one way that a lot of people can join me, well, virtually, is with the Telegram channel, Traveling with Russell channel. And then uh, Vitaly and David, and I'm not sure who else is in the chat that may be on the chat. Traveling with Russell chat. We have 2,300 members in the channel, and I think it's about 750 people in the chat, and normally about 100 or 200 are active at the same time. Uh, I've not been to. I've only really been to Ufa, which is where my wife is from. Okay, I went to Kaluga a couple of, about a month ago. I've uh, been to Saint Petersburg twice, but just for short trips to make videos. So yeah, I've not really been to many places to have that. This is better than this place kind of feeling. Hello, Mr. Russell. Hello. Um, what's the market value of the apartment that you showed us? Oh, the one that I showed you there would be, um, about. 70, about eighty thousand dollars US. That place, eighty thousand US, fifty square meters. Uh, you don't have to get permission in Russia to film videos in stores. It's completely allowed to film anywhere in public in Russia. Um, there's a law that allows you to film anywhere you like. Okay, you can't film specific things. You know that's normal anywhere. You know. But yeah, I generally, uh, if depending on where I go, I may ask ahead of time or just let them know that I'm filming something. Um, like the Magnet video that someone just talked about, I know the people that work there. Um, yeah, a lot of places I know the people that work there. So it's, especially in a Prelivka where I am here, you don't need to get permissions. Are you and your wife planning on changing wallpaper or do they paint that? Uh, right, wall, it's wallpaper. 
Everybody in Russia loves wallpaper. It's the walls get plastered and then they get wallpapered pretty much. I don't think I've ever been to anybody's house where it's painted. So yeah, wallpaper. Yeah, we would do that at some point. Uh, it'll definitely be on the list to do it. Um, it's not an expensive thing to do. We did it in my wife's nail salon a few months ago where we changed the wallpaper and the skirting boards and big difference. Uh, please check Boosty. Yes. Well, I guess I'm that far behind on the chat. The Oh, check Boosty. Oh, Boosty, I don't know how to check it. Boosty, I think. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. Boosty. Um, oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you, Queen. Queen Street Systems on Boosty. Yes, it did work. Thank you so much. March 22.06. Oh, three minutes ago. Okay. Oh, thank you. I need to work on how this whole Boosty thing works. I basically just created that as an addition to all of this because, yes, that did work definitely. A few minutes to watch this time. Nice to see you again. Yes, you do an important job. Oh, thank you, Sammy. Thank you so much. Oh, the curtains. Yeah. The, I mean, uh, the place where we want to buy, it doesn't have like uh, blackout curtains. Does that make sense? Blackout curtains. So that's probably one of the first things we'll do is uh, make sure that we can get some curtains for the windows so that especially now with summertime coming around, uh, it gets lighter much earlier and it gets darker much later. So you get longer days, especially in the morning. Uh, it's west facing, so you don't get the, you only get the sunset, not the sunrise. But, you know, definitely get the sun coming in. Will you visit my hometown, Scotland, Dundee? Um, not at the moment I won't be, but... Thank you, Blim... Oh, my gosh. Blimsy Minjimish. Thank you for the super sticker. Well, three super stickers. Thank you, CHFs. Not sure what CHFs are, but it sounds nice. I really don't know what that currency is. Thank you so much. It's going into the oven fund. Well, the oven for the other place. It'll all make sense when we make sense of it all. I know it's a little bit cryptic for now. Uh, oh my gosh, then I did that. And then I don't know where I am now. Um, I want one of those DJI cams just using an iPhone. It, phones are perfectly fine. I pretty much film everything. Um, so that apartment video I filmed with my phone, 4K30, is perfectly fine for filming YouTube videos. Just horizontal format if it's more than one minute. If you want to do shorts under 59 seconds in portrait mode. Landscape mode is that way. Anything over one minute. Film everything that direction. Um, I was a bit confused by the title, got worried you're leaving Moscow. No, not leaving Moscow. No, we're not even leaving this building because uh, we want to buy something in this building. Uh, hopefully, I can get to St. Petersburg. Oh, you lost your mic a few days ago. Oh, no. Yeah, I'd be worried, especially with this one because I don't have a second mic because it comes with one as part of the kit of buying it, right? So this is the combo kit. So I didn't open this. It has to be about five months from when I bought it. I literally didn't open it until about the day before, a couple of days before I went to Tashkent to watch the football. Yeah, you can definitely buy IKEA stuff if you just go on Yandex Market and there's a, even an IKEA link to buy things from IKEA. Uh, hello to Jen. Thank you. Say hi to Jen. I guess you're saying hello to me or to George. Why is this your last stream? It's my last stream from, well, I think it might be my live stream from this kitchen. Um, it reminds me of the, of the US of the 90s. Would you like to visit? I've been to a lot of places, Mr. Optimus. Uh, I would go back to Bermuda. I would go back to Florida. Uh, 
I visited for about a month or more. I went to Colorado. That was very nice. Everywhere has got such a different thing. Uh, Italy, uh, where David is from. I spent quite a lot of time there going to the shipyards in Italy to bring out the cruise ships. I would definitely get on a plane and fly back to Italy any day of the week. And I hope it's the same when I go there than me spending shorter time there. It, I wasn't essentially on a holiday either there. I was working in the shipyard and then the time off we had outside of that was what we did in Italy. So, um, 80,000. Yeah, of course you can buy land. I mean, you could buy a Dutch, I don't know, 30, 50 Ks from here as well. Um, yeah, that's, we don't really, we're not in that situation to be able to buy land and have a house and as we are at the moment. So, um, do you have to pay commission? Do you have to pay, is there a commission to pay in an apartment building for repairs? Uh, I guess if, you, well, you mean to, to do any repairs? Okay. If, if it's a rental like this, we just get the, the tent, the owner landlord to do something. If we owned our own place, we can do our own repairs and things like that. If yes, the accent remains. Well, I don't I mean, I only speak a, a little bit of Russian. Enough. I call it taxi Russian. I can speak enough to the taxi driver. Oh, Swiss francs. Thank you for some Swiss francs. So, bim, bimsy. Oh, my gosh. Zunda, zunda, sal. I'm sorry I'm saying your name very badly. Can you not have a shorter name? So Hillary Anonymous, Xiaomi Guy, and Bimzi Zunda Shundanel. The oven is getting one step closer. Uh, what time are we at? One hour and one minute. Okay. What's the kitchen about? Uh, so basically, I make my live streams from the kitchen. <laughs> you can see it right behind me. And if we buy a place, which is my crazy idea that I've talked about in a few live streams, um, I'll be making it from a different kitchen or not from the kitchen, probably. The place where we want to buy, we wouldn't be able to set up a computer in there because there's not enough space. Oh, there you go. Conf Helvetica Franks. CHFs. Confederatio Helvetica Franks. No, you speak... Oh. Hello from Vernon, BC. A lot of Canadians today. Lots of Canadians. And 58% of people who po did the poll, uh, it's the first time they've watched a live stream. I'm sh wow, that's crazy. Maybe you've been a subscriber to the channel, just not caught the live streams. Do you have friends in Moscow? Yes, I do. I've got some Russian friends and I've got some expat friends. Uh, you're all, thank you, David. I really say that because when I was there for so long, I mean, we were there for three weeks at a time, four weeks at a time. And then we did some cruises from Barcelona to Italy and all the different stops. And, you know, we were pretty much living there. I mean, we were on the ship in the shipyard, but we were in uh, Malfoncone and then, um, um, uh, Malfoncone, what was the, we were in two different places. Um, the one that's near the shipyard that's near Venice. Um, I don't remember. It's, it's three bus stops from Venice. So, you know, you feel like you're living there when you're there, right? So, uh, what does it mean to bring out a cruise ship? So basically when the cruise ship is built brand new, uh, the ship is built in a shipyard, uh, very typically in Europe. So either in Finland, like Turku, Finland, uh, in it in Italy, they build some in France. They build them in Germany, Papenburg, Germany. So what happens is all the crew that are going to work on the ship at the point that it's got passengers on it, uh, once the ship reaches a critical point that it's finished by the shipyard builders, the crew move on board. They then prepare the ship then for it to start sailing with passengers on board. So what's called a revenue cruise, where people pay to cruise. So we would then go on there two weeks early, four weeks early, six weeks early, depending on the job that you do. Um, some people go on there three months earlier. Some people are on there like the deck and engine guys are on there for the whole build of the ship. Um, and then you bring out the ship from the shipyard. So you do the first cruises where there's no passengers on board. 
and then you'll reach your home port and then you'll do what's called revenue cruises. I'm not anonymous. It's a simple German name. Whoa. Bin him. Bin. Maybe I'll just bin him. Maybe it's just three names squished together. I'm enjoying it. Thank you. Oh, my live pixel. Hello. And Coca Cola emoji, which I can't show on here. Super chats. I have to add some account instead of instant Google Pay. Well, that's interesting. You change the regulations for super chats. I wonder if that's the same for super thanks, like under a video that you're watching. You can also do a donation on what's called super thanks. Uh, I mean, flat commission to repair community things like the elevators. Oh, so yeah, so there is a like a monthly fee for the building. Um, yeah, also this building where we live here has got two guys. So they, uh, we've got garbage chutes in the corridors, and they then bring the garbage out for the trucks to collect. Uh, they also clear the footpaths of the snow in winter, and they do a little bit of gardening in summer. Um, yeah, they do actually do painting in the corridors. Uh, they were doing it not in our corridor, but a couple over a few days ago. So they do a little bit of maintenance and then the, fen the little fences around the gardens and stuff. So yeah, there is a monthly... It's not a lot, though. It's really quite small, the amount that you pay. Do you drive cars in Moscow? I've driven only uh, car sharing, like Belka car. That's the only ones that I've done. Um, excuse me. But yeah, that's the only car. I've not, I don't have my own car. Um, how many subscribers did I do before my first live stream? I don't know, actually. Because I this is my second channel, so I was already doing live streams on another channel, which that channel's got 18,000 subscribers. So yeah, I could pretty much... I've actually got a third channel, <laughs> a secret third channel, which is not a secret. It's called Russell in Russia. And I did a live stream on there <laughs> to two people or one people, <laughs> one or two people um last weekend last week uh, it's called russell in russia <laughs> it's got a couple of videos on there and i did a live stream for i think about two hours to one or two people but it was really mostly me talking it wasn't really me reading any of the chat because nobody was actually posting anything in the chat so he's like is him hello i'm german it's a fake name oh okay <laughs> Hello to you. Uh, thank you for the info. Yo, no worries. Dan van Duesenberg. We have... Um, do you have three monitors? I have two monitors. I have two right in front of me. The one I'm looking at here, now it's obviously a little bit awkward because the camera's offset. So I move over to one monitor for this, and then I've got a second one which has got the donation alerts coming up. And then the YouTube studio on the other box. And then this box has got the, this is called StreamYard, the app I'm using to stream into YouTube with. So, uh, Why do you have multiple channels? Uh, well, basically, I started a cruise ship channel while I was working on cruise ships. And the idea was for that to become popular and lots of people watch it. And people did. And while I was working on the cruise ships, I was filming videos uh, on the cruise ship I was on and in the ports of call. And I was probably recognized about five, six, seven times a day by subscribers or people who watch my channel at least. And then when I finished on cruise ships because of COVID mostly, I wanted to keep doing that channel, but obviously it's hard to do cruise ship related content when you're not on a cruise ship. And when you're sitting in a kitchen in Russia, it's hard to do cruise ship content. Uh, so, yeah, I set this channel up, Traveling with Russell, as a new channel uh, about less than two years ago, about it, well, less than two years ago. And I started off from scratch. I just started putting videos on there with no subscribers and let it just build up and build up. And a few videos got very popular. And here we are. Goes, there's no support button. What's going on with that? Well, I guess for... Um, Bim, Bim Zazu Dazul, he figured out the fan fund. It's called fan funding on the YouTube studio. I call it fan funding. 
I love the last apartment you did. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a nice place. Yeah, the uh, I'm I'm trying to do. I want to do apartment tours in other parts of Moscow, but it's a matter of either somebody being super nice and let me film where they live, uh, or I've emailed and messaged a few different real estate agents, and they're just not very. I guess because I don't want to buy it or look at it or they're not bothered about getting back to me on them sort of things. Um, I'd really love to do one in one of the uh, the skyscrapers in Moscow City. That's kind of one of my dreams of a video. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. How long did it take you to be able to read Russian? Really appreciate it. I don't really, I can only really read certain words because of the letters. <laughs> from reading the metro station stations, if that makes sense. So slowly, every time you read something, you start to learn what letters are in what order, and then you can kind of sound out what you're looking at. So I think the first important thing is to be able to speak Russian. Uh, reading probably would be second, and then writing would be last in terms of what you need if you want to live here. Uh, th oh, thank you. Um, okay, <laughs> very personal questions <laughs> on donation alerts. Thank you, though. Um, uh, giraffe Nest is the name that you've got there, if that's okay to read it. Giraffe Nest. Um, <laughs> a couple of silly words that I know in Russian. I know Bigimot, uh, <laughs> which is, and then Sloan, <laughs> and Cherry Pucker. Um, yeah, so basically what I earn while I'm living in Russia is from YouTube, um, from people watching videos, people watching the ads on videos, people watching it with um, a VPN on or not, you know, if you're not, depends on where you are in the world. And that's the what I do. Um, my wife is a little bit younger than me, not by much. <laughs> so... She's younger than me, though. Um, a few years younger. I don't think it really matters. But, yeah, thank you, Giraffe, for the donation alerts. I guess the oven the oven alert, I'll call it. <laughs> the oven alert. That's the best way to, to word it, I think. Uh, well, if you're not living in Moscow, what city would you choose? I don't really have... I've not been to enough places in Russia to say that I'd be... I'd be happy to live there. I mean, I went to Ufa. We stayed with my wife's auntie in Davlikanova, which is uh, Ufa region. And then we stayed in the city with her cousin, which is in like, I made the video about that Ufa, a Russian typical family apartment um, with the park in the middle and the, for the kids' playground and stuff. I mean, and that's really like a building here in Moscow. So it would just be that I'm living in an apartment in another city. Uh, I mean, Ufa's got. It's, I think it's like a million population or so. I mean, Moscow is 15 to 17 million. So it's a very big difference in population. And, you know, Ufa's a little bit closer to get to things and go to things. Oh, Mary, Mary, from Aprilivka. Thank you. Yes, I'm here in Aprilivka. Um, put it this way. From this window, I can see Kiev Highway. And then, okay, this apartment's a little bit bigger. So there's a window looking the other way that I can see uh, the church, and then towards the train station in the other direction. But yes, I can, if I open this window, there's a window here, well, that's the balcony. I can just hear the cars of Kiev Highway going by. Uh, I need some tips. <laughs> I can definitely, if I, I can definitely give you some on Telegram. Um, I guess the most important thing is about the horizontal and vertical format videos. That's the most critical thing. Under 59 seconds, is a short. Um, and then if you want to do anything long form, do it in landscape mode so people can watch it on a monitor, on a tablet, on the TV, not just on their phone. Um, uh, you're a full-time YouTuber. What are some tips to growing a channel? Uh, try and find a niche that is comfortable for you to film. You know, Do f videos that you're happy to do and it makes you happy and it's not a chore to do it. You know, don't don't do YouTube for the sake of doing YouTube. If you think you're going to get rich and famous and all that sort of thing, because it won't happen. <laughs> it, it takes a long time to make it happen. 
uh, even my cruise channel, you know, it, the idea was to grow it to the point that I didn't have to work on cruise ships. And even when I got off cruise ships, it wasn't at that point. So, um, you know, it, it takes, you know, you've got to be just enjoying doing it to a point that it's easier. Um, I think titles are very critical. Titles and thumbnails of the videos. Um, you'll see with mine, a lot of the titles, Russian typical this, Russian typical that. A lot of my titling is going forward for, to be found in search. Maybe not so much the live stream titles, but in the long form videos. Um, you know, don't expect every video to get views. I mean, that's probably uh, the easiest way is whatever your subscriber count is, expect only 50% of your viewers to watch a video. So if you've got 100 subscribers, you're going to get 50 views. That's what your goal should be. And as that number increases, that amount of views you should expect increases. And then if you get more or less than that number, you need to correct something and get better each time and improve every video by 1%. And at that, that, that point, then you should be good. Um, Claire, coming back. Uh, nice to see Dutch people have found this channel. Yes. Yeah, there is. Seems to be. Uh, do you buy some things in Yandex market? Uh, my wife does. She usually uses wild berries or ozone uh, because we've got the two pickup points in our building downstairs. Okay, Yandex, you just have to go somewhere else to the pickup points. But pretty much ozone and wild berries, anything that I might want my wife to buy me, I just tell her the link. Uh, Yandex market, I don't think she uses it at all. I don't think so. Um, watching here in LA, lunchtime in Los Angeles. Ooh. Oh, also a channel subscriber. Thank you. Just thank you. Um, Rostov on Don, Ooh. down south as well. Not too far from Plastic Russian. Hello from North Texas. Um, Good evening, Russell. Dave Beer, thank you. Hello, everybody. Really, whoever's either watching now live, watching on replay, watching on catch up, thank you so much. Um, it's not my last live stream. I think I've repeated this a few times. It's the last live, possibly the last live stream from the kitchen here. And the next, possible, the next live stream will be from another location. Uh, we are trying to buy an apartment. We've done been doing this for, well, since last year now. So it's now four or five months into this since we come back from Australia in October. When did we come back? November, October, November, we were there. Um, so, yeah. Krasnogorsk uh, near Aprilivka. Krasnogorki, very close to Aprilivka. Wow, well, there you go. Yeah, I'm not too far. Like, I guess you know the turn off where you turn into Aprilivka, where the petrol station is there. Zabravka. I can see that from the window. <laughs> That's the first turn off to Aprilivka. You just turn right there and then right again, and I'm just down the street. Uh, it's 10 p.m. Oh, I normally I'm a bit of a night owl. I would probably rarely go to sleep before 1 or 2 a.m. So, yeah, I'm a bit more of a night owl than I am a morning person. 2.30 in Texas. Washington State, how long have you been living in Russia? Well, I originally came about nine years ago when I first met my wife. Well, she wasn't my wife at the time, but when I was first invited by her to come to Russia. Uh, yes, Telegram. We have traveling. Oh, I think David's just put a link to it. Thank you, Thomas and Rich. Hello. How's it going? Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. 250 likes. I just saw it tick over. Thank you. Whoever's clicked the last like and all the 249 before that. Thank you so much. That's amazing. And 165 people watching live as well. Um, more than likely the next live stream. Um, I keep wanting to get my wife on the live stream, but she doesn't want to be on them. You, know, you guys all know that. I've tried and tried and tried. I've just told, I told her now earlier, right before this one, that her live stream, I think, has got the most views of any live stream I've done. So, uh, have you ever been to Iran? I've not, George, no. Um, but I've met lots of Iranians here in Moscow, though. 
Actually, I've got a few friends on Telegram now from meeting them in real life in Moscow at conventions, basically. I've met Iranians. Uh, and I filmed two Iranian cars. They were quite surprised, the last lot that I met, that I'd made YouTube videos about Iranian cars in, uh, uh, in Moscow. Mexico. Joe. Hola. Come esta? Um, 21, 31 in Italy. Oh, 9.30 in Italy. A little bit earlier. Are you thinking to move back to Australia? Daniel, for now we're not. No, for now we're got a couple of things we need to work out buying and moving into an apartment. That's what we're trying to be we've been doing for the last five months. And then we need to work out a few documents for my uh, residency here that need to be finalized. Uh, everything's just about documents, <laughs> documents, documents. It's everyone's favorite thing in Russia to do, I think. If you're a Russian, you'll understand. It's the favorite thing to do in Russia is make and create and give and organize documents. Thank you. Easter feast. Yes. Thank you. I don't listen to any music or very little music. Uh, my wife has um, Spotify. She uses that on her phone and tablet. I know she definitely does. Hello from Rockingham. What? Stana, we were living in Rockingham by the memorial, by the war memorial, where is the foreshore uh, on Emma Street, <laughs> specifically. <laughs> uh, we were living there for about a year and a half. Yeah, it was more than a year, definitely. Um, yeah, right where the, the um, Rockingham War Memorial is, and then the KFC across the road, and you walk to the beach, and then the old fish and chip places there. I actually helped remodel the Woolworths at Rockingham Shopping Center. I'm sure if you go to Rocky City, you know that there's a new looking Woolworths there now. Woolies? Woolworths. Actually, I was a big part of the remodeling of that store. I did the merchandising and um, when they actually even redid all the floors. I did many, many overnights in a row. <laughs> the people from the company were quite mad. Because I kept teasing them that I, I lived down the street from the shopping center, right? And I said, oh, I just drove in reverse here because it was a bit faster than <laughs> driving the car, than walking. <laughs> and then because we, we were a team of people that did the different refits of Woolies around Perth and WA. And obviously when I get a chance. And I actually also did the fit out for the 7-Eleven across the road from Rocky City. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hello from Paris. Wow. And Crimea, Paris and Crimea, back to back. MS, hello, Z, Zzz. I guess that's like sleepy. Love for your channel. Why is your last live stream from a kitchen? Because we're, Mr. Lago, we're looking at moving into a place that we're trying to buy. Well, the bank is buying it. <laughs> we're just helping the bank buy it. My crazy idea, which I've talked about a lot. Uh, adequate Xiaomi guy did donation alerts. <laughs> to my crazy idea, copyrighted investment. He given as a trademark on my crazy idea that I've written about. Um, so yeah, the plan is that in the next few weeks, well, we hopefully, hopefully, we'll be doing live streams from another location, <laughs> not this kitchen. My previous ones that I was doing is the other apartment in the same building. So at some point, this will be the fourth place we've lived at in the same building. It's a little bit crazy, isn't it? That's how much we like the area and the place. Fellow Aussie in Athens. Wow. I haven't been to Athens. I haven't been, been to Greece. Um, at least you should have. Uh, yes, we would love a cat. We, we looked after our neighbor's cat a few weeks ago. Um, Prussia. And yes, we want a cat. We really only know we can get one once we have our own place as well. Yes. Yeah, the clock's changed one hour forward last night. Yeah, actually, uh, Joanna's flying to Moscow. I think, David, you know who I'm talking about here. And she was talking about the time difference because we were. I was asking what time her flight was earlier. I haven't been to Riga, no. No, uh, I've been to a lot of countries, mostly in the Caribbean, Europe. Um, okay, plenty of 
different port cities in America, Central America. Um, yeah, been to Bali, Thailand. Um, yeah, I've worked on cruise ships for quite a lot of years, Robin. So thing is, you don't really, you, you visit them for every week the same day. So like I did the Bahamas itineraries from Port Canaveral in Florida. So you go to Freeport and Nass Nassau twice a week. So you're in, you're in Nassau, Bahamas every Tuesday and Friday for six months. So, do Russians celebrate Easter the same as? Not really, no. Um, there is definitely church services, depending on the denomination. Um, it's not really the same. I would say not. Yeah, there's no chocolate Easter eggs. There is a little bit of stuff in shops, but not to the extent they do it in Australia. Uh, I'm not a, I'm, I'm an Australian passport holder with with residency here, so I can't vote in elections. Uh, yes, she wants she wants the either the Scottish fold, which is the same as Prussia, the cat that we had that we look after, or she wants the one with very spiky ears. I don't know what this cat is called, Mark, uh, but that's the second cat that she wants from Choberg. My brew, hello, my boki. I've been to I've been to Joburg Airport, and then I flew to Nelspruit, and I was in Nelspruit, and I've been to Port Elizabeth as well. Gonna miss that kitchen. Well, most people miss the old kitchen more than this kitchen. I think this kitchen's not really as memorable. The old one was that with the brighter coloured. Oh, and very, excuse me. Well, holy dooly. I'm sorry. Uh, what is better, renting or owning? Um, well, the one thing about owning is I can put a nail on the wall and put my YouTube plaque on. Uh, not here, because it's rented. Um, I can hang my clothes up in my wardrobe. And anything that's right or wrong with the place is now my fault. Well, not my fault, but... Uh, thank you for <laughs> stress. <laughs> is that is that uh, um? Oh my gosh, Butsova. But is it Butsova in Russian, right? Nazdrovya, Butsova. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So definitely renting. You're giving to somebody else money. Um, and I understand that cycle because I've been doing it for a few, a lot of years. Um, so and, and in Australia we were renting as well when we lived in Rockingham. Bengal, one's, one's a Bombay. Ooh, cool. Named after the 43rd treasurer of the United States. That's quite specific. <laughs> I'll have to look who his name is. Will there be a tour two? Uh, of the new apartment, yes. There will be at some point. Uh, my wife doesn't love me doing tours of places that I live in because then people realize where we live. <laughs> so um, it's not my wife's favorite thing to do. Yes, 17 and 18 degrees in the next couple of days. And only seven in Wales. Yeah, we had seven a few days ago. Yeah, it's next two days are going to be very nice. Yeah, tomorrow I've kind of got plans, but I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing tomorrow. Today I didn't go out at all. So today was my stay home day, prepare another video for the channel day, which is on the channel unlisted at the moment. It will go on the channel for members first and then published later. Uh, I am a robot, yes. I I do too much things on YouTube. Uh, if I do listen to the radio, I listen to talkback radio, you know, like information radio or talkback radio. Uh, Daniel, because of falling in love with a Russian, that's why I moved to Moscow. You know, once you fall in love with a Russian, you know, there's something, it's like a magnet then. You know, from Mannheim, Germany. Udo, hello. A Mancoon cat. Yes. I think that's the one with the pointy ears. Uh, will I still be doing videos in 2030? I don't. That's six years away. I can't decide on a video in the next two days. Hmm. 
<laughs> Russell, you will never you'll need you'll need another channel for to feed two cats. Yeah. <laughs> Happy wife, happy life. Yes, we've put off getting a cat for a long time because we didn't really have, you know, setting concrete plans. So now we're a little bit in a situation where we can do that now. So yeah, it's all f yes. No rubbish leasehold. No, it's all freehold. Yes, you own the place. That's it. Done and dusted. Uh, you're pretty naive to Russia now. <laughs> Any tips on how to keep a bear in an apartment? <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess you, it depends on how big the bear is. Thank you for donation alerts, by the way. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. You're pretty naive to Russia. I've been here nine years, well, 10 years, really. So I don't think I'm naive at this point. I know what's happening. I know what's going on. I follow news. Um, Telegram reports news quicker than the TV can report it. So there's a lot of things that don't get reported as well. There's always three sides to every story. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, lots of different people doing bless yous in different languages, I think. Thanks. Do I know Johnny FD? Yes, I do know of his channel. He has actually commented a couple of times about my videos. Um, yes, I do occasionally watch his videos. He's, uh, he was in Thailand. I think he's left Thailand now, right? I know he was in Thailand for quite a few videos in a row. So, uh, hello from St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg Walker. Hello. 14 with rain showers here in LA. You're a cool customer us if you get my meaning. You're a cool customer. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. I understand what you're saying. Totally. Thanks. Cheers. Oh, let me press that. Thank you so much. Do you own a car? Or, uh, public transport is the way to travel. Yes, we don't own a car. I had one in Australia. Um, and I don't have one in Russia. Yes, occasionally we'll do car rentals uh, here called um, car sharing. You can rent it for so many rubles per minute. Pick it up wherever it is, drop it off wherever you like within you know the map. And that's all we need. Occasionally we'll do it. We otherwise catch buses and trains and everything like that here. Metro everywhere in Moscow. It's very easy to get around. Sparse to me and small, although prices are okay. Yeah, it's 50 square meters. Yeah, there is that's basically how it's rented is depending on what furniture's in it. So Probably where the lounge room was, there probably was a sofa in there or a sofa bed. Normally it's sofa beds, like a sofa that pulls out to be a bed and there wasn't one. And then in that other room, which was the bedroom, there was like a, one of those Ikea looking like corner sofas that can pull out to be a bed. So yeah, it just didn't have a lot of furniture in there. So whoever maybe, maybe whoever either owned it um, prior to putting it, uh, like for rent, maybe they took some furniture out of it or the previous renter brought some furniture and took it away. I don't know. But exactly how, you, it's just because it didn't have furniture in the lounge room. It felt a little bit more sparse. I agree. Life in Moscow is okay. Uh, weather's nice. The last couple of days has been nice. I can almost wear shorts. Almost. I'm not wearing my heavy jacket anymore. I've got like a thinner, they call them puffer jackets. I bought back in Australia. Oh, he left Thailand. There you go. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know he was doing a lot of videos from there. Uh, yes, YouTube definitely monetizes every month as long as you hit certain thresholds. You know, once you're 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time. So, yeah, yeah, it's no worries at all. Um, yeah, my channel is set up as being in Australia. So where there's AdSense payments, it goes back to my Australian bank account. And then I bring it then to Russia, you know, in a bit of a circle, but it, it works. Have Rio. Uh, I'm in the southwest of Moscow, uh, close by Vanukova Airport, a uh, called, place called Aprilivka. It's the last stop on the D4 train line as well. Got some sunburn today. Yeah, actually, my wife mentioned that. Okay, I didn't go out today, but she was asking about, I wore shorts the day before, and I wonder if I got a little bit of 
little bit of something. I wasn't outside today at all, so I went to the shop, and that's about it. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, tomorrow is a school day, yes. Your house is haunted. Um, I'm in my 40s, Daniel. In my 40s. I uh, knew you was into cats. Oh, thank you. Yes, I love cats. I wish I had a cat right here somehow where... And when we do get a cat, I want a cat that will <laughs> love me. <laughs> Not a cat that just, you know, sits in the corner. I could catch you online. King, I'm very well. Thank you. Yeah, very good today. Um... Uh, we've not bought the apartment yet. When will we see it? In the next few weeks, Erica. I would say the next couple of weeks. Uh, I would say that's probably realistic. Um, or maybe unrealistic. Maybe I'm, not, maybe I'm I don't know. Uh, my wife told me to stop asking her about dates and times and when and how and what. And just let all the process of all the documents and paperwork and online and offline things happen. Get on with making some kids. Um, uh, I'm a little bit older, Robin, so I consider it harder to pick up the language. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not fluent in Russian. <laughs> I know a few sentences, a few words. I can make do when I need to. Um... Sent you cats in our Telegram group. Oh, nice. Yeah, any photos you want to post on Telegram chat, go for it. Yes. Since a year, but never get a chance to see you streaming. Oh, thanks, King. Yeah, normally on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday nights, Moscow time, is generally when I'm doing live streams like this. So. Are you going somewhere in Moscow? Uh, no, we'll be still living in the same town. Uh, we want to try and buy in this same building as well. Uh, no, when I get on the first station, it's not that many people know. <laughs> yes, it gets closer to Moscow, obviously, because you're on the last stop or the first stop. There's not that many people on it. It leaves about every 10 or 15 minutes now. Uh, it's very comfortable. Yes, the younger you are, the easier it is. Yeah, any kids, if you've got young kids or little kids, and they've got a chance to learn languages, get them to go for it. Yeah, don't hold them back from learning languages. Um, it's easy to get, I, I find it easy to get around, but you can use your phone, you can use apps, you can use maps, Google Maps, oh, not Google Maps, Yandex Maps. There's the Metro apps to figure out the stations that you're going to. Um, it's very. E it's a lot easier than some people think it is when they get here. Uh, most of the difficulty with Russian is if you're doing like the documents for the house paperwork. That's a lot more challenging. Um, as long as you've got somebody that can help you, if you were to do it, like if I was to do it alone, for instance, without my wife, I'd just get a friend or someone to come with me to help me with what I need to do for that sort of stuff. You remember the end? Uh, you moved to India, M Moscow last week. Oh, you've come at the right time with the weather then, Vulcan. I guess you're probably happy now that it's warmer every day. You'll be in shorts and flip-flops soon. <laughs> you should go to a Russian school. Yes, I agree. Uh, Google Translate, yes. Daughter seven and speaks three languages. That's amazing. Um, I was living in Turks and Caicos in Grand Turk. I guess I worked on cruise ships for a lot of years, so you don't really live anywhere. You live on the cruise ship, and then for four or six or seven months at a time, you sail with the ship wherever it is going to. So you don't live anywhere except on board the ship, and then wherever the port stops are that it's going on the cruises. So you'd go to Cozumel, Mexico once per week, every Tuesday or every Wednesday, whatever day you'd go there. You might be in Jamaica every Thursday, every week on a seven-day itinerary. Um, but I lived in Grand Turk for more than a year. I went over there to help them operate the uh, 
uh, cruise terminal where the ships came in and there was a duty free shop there. And that was more than 10 years. Well, maybe about 15 years ago when I did that. I lived briefly in England, briefly. Uh, well, there's a will, there's a way, yes. Uh, is it better in a brew? I don't know about Vanukova. <laughs> All I know is the airport there. So I don't know anything about a, a Vanukova as a place. <laughs> so I just know the airport and the metro station in Vanukova. So I don't know about a Prelivka is the only place I've known for <laughs> my 10 years of living here because it's we've lived in the same building in three different apartments. And then we lived in another apartment down the street on the next street over literally we can see that building from this building um, seems like a better a really good place to be yeah i mean look we're just comfortable here my wife has her salon in the building where we live um it's very comfortable for us to catch the bus to moscow or the train to moscow Uh, we're currently renting the place that this that I'm filming this in, but we want to buy a place. That's what I've been talking about the last three or four videos in a row now. So, uh, yeah, we want to buy a place, probably with the bank's help as well. And everybody watching, the crazy idea. Uh, <laughs> my crazy idea. Uh, I've never seen so much marble in my life. Yes. Truly one of the most beautiful places. Yes, it's crazy. It's it's You've kind of got to go sometimes there and not have an intention to go somewhere when you go on the metro. So you can actually stop a little bit and look at the stations and look up at them and look down at them. You know, when you're going somewhere uh, with an intention of going to a certain place, you get on the metro, you ride it to the interchange to get on another metro to go to the station. And you don't really take it, you know, you don't really uh, take it in when you're, you know, doing that. Uh, we were in Australia in November, in October, November. We went there for my mum's birthday, October 10. Uh, you can't fly directly to LA, but you could do Qatar Airways through Doha or through uh, Do uh, Dubai with Emirates, Abu Dhabi with uh, Etihad. Uh, I'm not sure you can fly. You could go to Tashkent, Uzbekistan, and fly to New York. I know I saw that when I was in Tashkent. They had like an arrow saying New York flights this way. You can have my cat Russell. It never stops eating. Just don't show it a, a bit of. <laughs> um, there's no plan to go to Australia this year, Daniel. Daniel, we were there twice last year, but they were for my mum and dad's birthdays. Uh, Thank you, Robin. I hope you have a nice day. See you in the next video. Thank you. Yeah, make sure everyone watches some of the old videos if you haven't. In front of Bowman Garden. Uh, we go. I go everywhere on foot. Everything I do that you see me filming, I catch the public bus. Well, the bus from where I live to get the metro, to get another metro to go somewhere. Um, like where I made the video where I went to the... Chisnok over in, um, oh my gosh, on the northeast of Moscow. It was over three hours to get home by <laughs> walking to the train station, catching that train, then catching two metros, and then catching another bus home. Uh, that was on like the opposite, in the northeast of Moscow that I went to that shop. Um, yes, no car. Uh, thank you, Plastic. Yeah, I'm going to get off soon too. We've got a few more minutes left of the live stream. Um, oh, thank you for donation alerts. Have you ever been to Zelnograd, end of the MCD3? It was built in the 60s as a Soviet Silicon Valley. The trees haven't turned green yet, but it is a very interesting and beautiful place. I'll have to look that up. The last station of the D3. Thanks. I'll need to look this up. Thank you for donation alerts. This is the oven fund that we're now doing. Instead of buy me a coffee, it's buy me an oven. <laughs> buy my wife an oven. Uh, I don't really have, well, I've talked about this a million times. You know, I, everywhere has different beauty in Moscow. You know, every park has a bit of a different feel to it. 
So, um, you know, it's like sort of saying the a park here and a prayer lifter is beautiful, and then someone will come here to it and go, oh, no, it's not really that nice, and this, this place is better. So... Do you have a subscription or an unlimited one? Um, is it convenient for you to get to the center? As in the center of Moscow? Um, from here, I'd walk to the bus stop, catch a bus to Salarevo metro station, and then get the red line and come out at Ohot de Riyadh, and then you're right there by a red square. It's about an hour from here. 30 minutes on the bus. Well, probably just a little over an hour. 30 minute bus ride and then about 30, 40 minutes on the metro. Hello from Munich. Uh, yeah, I use a, a Troika card, which is the payment for the for the metro. Uh, yeah, closer to Moscow, they are more expensive. Absolutely, yeah. The closer you are to a metro station or the closer you are to the center of Moscow, the prices go up. Um, yes. That's why we live 50 kilometers from Moscow because it's more reasonable. Uh, yes, you can get better interest rates for mortgages and help with the kids' needs. Yes, I, 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 I've looked this up a few times. Uh, it's not something where we can just <laughs> pop out the baby now to get the apartment next week. You know, it's like a few years in the making to get to that point to, you know, enjoy the benefits. If that, you know, the benefits that the government provide for families. Uh, Prolific is quite far right. Not really. No, you take the. Red line and catch the bus. It's not that far. In terms of Moscow region, it's not. Uh, the cost has been increasing over that. Uh, it's hard to kind of talk about the cost of living um, because it really depends on what you like and love in terms of food or how much you spend on going out. Do you buy coffees every day? Things like that. Um, Will you live in Moscow forever? I don't know forever, but uh, we're not sure where we're going in summertime. We don't. I'll post pics of Moscow often. Thank you. Thank you, Taurus. Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, see you next time. Thank you, Dave. Thank you so much. I was in, uh, with my friend Alexander, who I met working in restaurants in London. Oh, you show depends your videos. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to show more practical things in my videos. You know, not you know blogging style. You know, it's mostly title specific videos. Yeah, the weather's not as nice in St. Peter's as it is in Moscow. That's true. Thank you, anonymous. When in a prelude, if you go to the Melodia shopping center. And my favorite supermarket, uh, Katni. Is that the one that's the, the Belarus supermarket? I know Melodia Shopping Center very well, of course. I was, I was living here before that was even built. Imagine. And then when they built the, the, the second part of it. Uh, I think that's the supermarket on the lower level, right? The green looking place. Katni. It has to be that place. It's got all the Belarus food. In there, my wife's been and bought a few things. I bought some chocolate there, but I didn't like it. Maybe I just didn't like that chocolate, or I bought the wrong one, not reading the packet very well. Thank you for donation alerts. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adrian. Yes, we're going to leave everybody in 11 minutes' time. 10 plus 1. 11 minutes, we'll be ending the live stream. So if you've got anything to say, donation alerts, super chats, get them out the way. The oven fund is taking shape just nicely. Um, have you ever visited Kazan? I haven't, no. Everyone breaking the noise. Yeah, thank you of MSN. Thank you so much. Uh, Red Line doesn't go to Food City. Uh, you'd need to go to... Okay, well, if you want to go to the nearest metro station, it's a Troplastan. Uh, you can get off the bus at Salarevo, which is the red line. And then you can either get the blue uh, high-frequency buses there. Um, or you can catch... There's actually a free shuttle. There's a free shuttle from Salarevo to Food City. But the red line doesn't go to Food City. It's about 15 minutes away. 
Oh, thank you. Happy Easter from Maui. Oh, thank you for the super chat. And you're also a channel member as well. Thank you. Also, it's good timing for the last day of the calendar month. Tomorrow is April Fool's Day, everybody, right? This is, I was just thinking, this is not April Fool's Day, my last live stream. Um, but I've explained it a few times. So thank you, No Left Turns. That's, sorry, I'm looking at two different screens where it's popping up. So Maui, Hawaii. If someone asked me about where I should live, I'd live in Hawaii as well. Um, because it's got that island life. It's got that Florida life. It's got that Australian beach life. Um, and then it's still America. So you've still got Walmart and Kmart. And that's what I always think about when I think of Hawaii. It's still got Walmart and Kmart. Maybe the Kmarts are all gone now, but, uh, the apartment we want to buy is not next to a metro station. No, it's, it's 30 minute drive away or by bus, about 20 minutes. Uh, you live in dormitory, yes. Avina Nabulina. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, what is your biggest fear? <laughs> wow, there's a lot of questions, Daniel. Daniel, <laughs> don't have a lot of fears. Nothing worries me too much and stresses me too much. So and that's why I don't think about these things. Paka paka. Thank you, Queen. Thank you for your. Donation alerts, and if you did Boosty, I think it's Boosty as well, right? Thank you so much. It'll be a big help for <laughs> the for the oven. Uh, yes, my wife's been to Australia three times. Yes, definitely. She even flew to Australia on her own when COVID happened. Bozar from London, Hammersmith. How are you going? Stanamir, thank you, in London. I was watching the Man City uh, game earlier. Um, actually, I didn't really was watching that. I was, had it on with the volume off because I was watching another video on YouTube. And then I watched the earlier game. Um, and then I'm, hopefully I can watch the, the, the darts or the golf afterwards. Let's see. You don't like the April Fool's Day? Thank you, Nina. When did Apollo go? Oh, 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 Nina. Okay, now so oh, you, my favorite supermarket. It must be the same supermarket, Nina. It has to be. I know the supermarket. It's a brand new place on the lower level in the new section. So, thank you for that. There's not. There's only otherwise we've only got ribbon there or lenta. <laughs> uh, did you get a chance to record the bathrooms that Tucker Carlson used? I, <laughs> someone, someone mentioned this I, when it happened at the time. <laughs> See how strong the water pressure is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tomorrow's a full day of lies. I'm curious what the what news will come out overnight now with all of the April Fool's Day. I've never been to Romania, no. Chefach, by the way. Three. Four, time metric. Yes, I, I just have a top-up card that I just put a few hundred rubles on at a time because I don't catch the metro every day. It's probably every second or third day I'm using the metro or the train, so I just top it up as I need to. Uh, what's wrong? Um, April Fool's. Are you still having that pizza that is near to you? Um, the one that's outside the window here? I've not had it for... When did my wife go and get it? A few weeks ago, she got me last week. You, do, you enjoy it more if you have it less. Tell your wife hello and not to, to be too shy. Tell her as long as she tries speaking. We'll understand. Mark, thank you. Yes, I need to inspire her to come on and do a live stream. Liverpool, top of the Premier League. Yes, because of the nil-all draw, right? They're still top. I think if Chelsea would have won, they would have gone ahead. Was it Chelsea? Chelsea? 
Arsenal. Sorry, Arsenal. If Arsenal would have won against Man City, they would have gone top, right? Australia is a beautiful country. We must place the win the race. We are at third, right? Uh, I don't really support any football teams. I just watch sport generally. So, about watching IPL as well. If you're, I, I haven't watched any of the IPL matches. Although there's almost like one per day, I noticed on the website that I get all the streams from. Um. Uh, I buy their sushi and I've got a couple of videos in Eurospar. I've been to the one in uh, a hot near Riyadh, the one, the secret, the Moscow secret supermarket, I call it. And I went to the one also in Tropolstan, right by the metro there. So I've got two videos from Eurospar. Um, yeah, I buy the sushi there, the one where it's pay by weight. Just join us. You'll watch the rest post live stream over breakfast. I love your content. Thank you. From Buxton, New South Wales. Thank you, AW. Thanks for watching from Australia. Yeah, it's early morning there now. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. We've got a few minutes to go. I'll sort of slowly wind up the live stream now. So, yeah, just to reiterate, depending on where you're watching from, um, I'm possibly we're possibly moving. Well, moving apartments in the coming weeks. Could be a month, could be six months, could be tomorrow in the coming weeks. Um, we're kind of just now waiting for some documents to go through for purchasing a place that we've been working on since last year. Um, things don't happen. Some things happen amazingly quick in Russia and some things don't. Um, yeah, good Philadelphia rolls at Eurospa. I've tried the pizza once and it was good, so... <laughs> Make a picture about, a video about Indian restaurant. I don't even know where an Indian restaurant is in Moscow. I guess short of going on Yandex Maps and putting it in. I love Indian curries, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we the, the plan is that I'll not be in the kitchen with my computer set up here in this other place that we'll move into. But I don't know for now. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for... Oh, we're four likes short of 300 likes on the live stream 296 likes thank you for putting likes on the live stream thank you to everybody that did donation alerts nina anonymous giraffe hillary anonymous an adequate xiaomi guy and anonymous <laughs> thank you so much and to people who did the super chats, Bimzamul, Zizumul, <laughs> sorry, and no left turns in Maui. Thank you. And then somebody said that they did Boosty. Thank you as well. Then also there is always the link to the spare bank, which some people do occasionally. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching the live stream on a Sunday here in Moscow. Um, there will be another video on the channel probably tomorrow. Let's see how the previous current videos are doing. I like to give it a few days between uploads of new videos. So not, um, putting videos on too quickly. You need to let the videos breathe. So the video from the Crocus Expo is still getting a lot of views. And then this current, uh, last apartment tour video is also getting a lot of views per hour. So I don't want to overwhelm YouTube with too many choices for people to watch in terms of new content. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the live stream. Uh, watch an old video. Post a comment. Post a comment below this video after it's finished. And I'll try to catch up with some comments right away when I close this box now here. Um, yeah. We'll... Uh, for the apartment video, I probably will do something about some of the things to fix and improve and change and da 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 da. Because I think I'm going to end up making kind of a list of things and then we'll prioritize what we need to do and not do. And the fact that I might have to spend this rare 10 ruble coin 
<laughs> this is the one that's the Moscow region 10 ruble coin. It's, very, it's like a limited edition one. My wife can't keep giving me these limited edition coins and banknotes that she keeps getting. So thanks, everybody. Yes, hope the documents get done soon. Yeah, it's a favorite thing of Russia. I think there isn't a Russian that doesn't understand that part of doing anything that's administration-wise in Russia general. It doesn't matter if you're in Moscow or somewhere far away from Moscow. There's a lot of manualness to the document process. Manual, that's not a word. There's a lot of, <laughs> there could be a lot more online and automation of it, put it that way. I think that's the best way to sort of say it. So thanks, everybody. I'll see you on Telegram channel, uh, Traveling with Russell channel or Traveling with Russell chat. I'll see you there uh, all the time. I'm on the chat. Uh, and then if not, there is lots of nice people there as well. You can talk about something and post something, and I'm sure you'll get a lot of interaction from it. Bye, everybody. Have a nice night and enjoy the last few hours of Easter, depending on where you are in the world. So happy Easter to everybody. Bye.